Hello, welcome to the Credit Story Project. This week, we will show you the last contestants' presentations of their projects. Today and tomorrow, you can watch special projects that were not included among the top 30 participants. The idea, the development of a magnetic engine. Yerti Shintekov, 42 years old, from the city of Almaty. Today, participant number 31, Yertai Shintekov, is presenting his invention, a magnetic engine, to our audience. The idea, the development of a magnetic engine. Yerti Shintekov, 42 years old, from the city of Almaty. People often ask me, how can you possibly decrease the cost of goods by dozens of times? And my answer is, the production of all products involves a number of stages. First is mining operations, which require a lot of energy. Then there is transportation, which also requires a lot of energy. The production of goods at the factory requires a lot of energy too. Pre-sales procedures requires lots of energy. All of these expenses make up more than 90% of the total cost of the product. And I can eliminate the energy expenses, which means that we can grow tenfold richer. The idea, the development of a magnetic engine, Yertai Shintekov's life credo, to make the world a better place to live in, personality, persistence and logic, achievements, four different inventions, major competitors, doesn't have any competitors in this sphere. Dear viewers, if you want to pay much less for your utility bills, if you want to breathe fresh air, then support the magnetic engine project. It can help us to stop using expensive and harmful central heating stations, hydroelectric and nuclear power plants. You will have an autonomous, ecological and silent power supply source. In 1770, the French engineer Culot created a steam-powered cart. In 1803, the British inventor Trevillic built the first steam locomotive, which was called Catch Me If You Can. It developed speed up to 30 kilometers per hour. The world became faster, but dirtier. Shintekov's invention hasn't been tested yet, but many people are already interested in it. Nikolai Zaplesin, a retired electrical engineer, inventor, graduate of Omsk Railway Engineers Institute. This invention is very interesting. This engine is quite simple. There's nothing sophisticated about it. This is a constant magnet with a hole through the center. I have painted the positive pole blue and negative pole red. Now, I am taking one more magnet shaped as a cylinder. I will put this magnet into the hole. At first, it is sucked in. Then there is some resistance, and a few seconds later, it shoots it out. You see, this shooting movement that I have just shown to you can be transformed into rotary motion. Depending on the diameter of the rotor, the number of such magnetic blocks around it will vary from 40 to 50. Now I will explain how this motion will be passed onto the rotor. There will be a flat slot in it, and the same magnet, like this one, but with an arm, which will be fixed to the rotor and will go through the slot without touching the magnetic block, and it will be shot out. Then the next magnet comes in and also gets shot out and moved forward. As there will be many magnetic blocks around the rotor, there will be constant motion. This rotary motion can be passed on to a generator and be used to generate electric power, free electricity. Hey folks, this is our city. Let there be light in it. Night guard in Almaty. A long time ago, when Daddy's car was gas-powered, all the sky, all the sun, and even all the clouds were dirty. Can you imagine that? In 1860, a French mechanic, Lenoir, invented the internal combustion engine, which led to the creation of modern cars. The world became even faster and dirtier. In 1834, the Russian electrical engineer, Jacobi, invented the electrical engine. After this appeared underground trains, trams and trolleybuses. The world became more powerful, but cleaner. Now, Yertai Shintekov claims to have invented an absolutely ecologically clean magnetic engine, which makes electricity extremely cheap. If this is so, what is awaiting us in the future? 
Alin Namiz Birkov, the head of Geoglobalism and Economical Security Department of Kazakhstan Strategic Research Institute under the President of the Republic of Kazakhstan. If we imagined hypothetically that this invention was a success and wholesale orders were placed for these engines that could compete with the current powers of economic growth of Kazakhstan, we would see a certain conflict of interests. He has a positive, active position. He is doing the right thing. He is trying to move and to act, which makes it a reality for him to achieve his goal. Igor Savin, the general manager of the patent agency Arcos, an indifferent person who is just sitting, sleeping or thinking, it would be great if but is not actually doing anything, will never be a winner. He will just watch other people do something. Inventors are usually not greedy. Most of the inventors that I have come across so far, there might come a new generation, I don't know, beat their chest and say, hey people, this is what I want to give to you. Can you imagine that a long time ago, when you had to pay for electricity, all people went to work every day? Can you imagine that? And even before that, when the prices were very high, everybody was worried about their future, and people fell ill a lot. Can you imagine that? It is not just a good thing for all of us. It will also be our great pride if Kazakhstan can present a new product on the international market. And if this product is competitive, that will be a very positive event. If you support me, we will be able to launch another scientific technical revolution in the whole world. And we will be tenfold wealthier. Yertai Shintekov, the inventor of a magnetic engine. According to Yertai, this engine can replace all existing engines. This will make us all wealthy and the environment clean. If you believe Yertai, support him. If it starts spinning, we will get wealthy. Yertai Shintekov's number is 31. Yertai Shintekov is all concour in this competition. His number is 31. He needs money to create a prototype of this magnetic engine, to make his invention a reality, to see how it will work. And if it works out, some participants generated strong contradictions between bankers and our producers. The question was, can they be included in the top 30? Should inventions be considered a business idea or art? Do we have a moral right to set limits for a creator? We don't give loans to geniuses. This is a bank policy. Yeratai Shintekov, the magnetic engine. If I get a loan to create this magnetic engine, and if a decent amount of these engines are produced, every family will be able to buy it in a shop and place it in their flat as an autonomous source of electricity. An invention can never be a business idea, as it is not a credit story. That is why we never give loans for such projects, as an invention doesn't create a business reputation for the inventor. What business reputation does Mendeleev have, except the fact that he is a genius? We can't say anything about his credit story. But that means that our society is not ready for geniuses. There is no way for them to get financial support. Geniuses are not given bank loans. They are sponsored, helped, they get grants, but they are not issued bank loans. We should find a way to include him in our project? Can we somehow separate him from the competition of credit story? We don't have to give a loan. We can grant him the money from the audience phone calls. We can do that, but we could highlight our discussion on TV and could this way explain to the audience the essence of a bank loan. This engine can help you to save money for your family. We can say, we like this idea and we are ready to just grant the money to him, but we cannot give a bank loan to him as we don't see a source of loan repayment. Geniuses are not given loans.
So, do we want to have cheap electricity? Do we want all the world to use an engine created by a Kazakh inventor? There is a secure way to help this wonderful story to become a reality. We insist that miracles do exist, and you can help our inventor to implement his dream. Vote for him. You can help him.